Hi, my name is Balls from Cloud9, and this is my basic champion guide to Maokai. Maokai is good into a lot of melee champs, but not particularly good versus range champions. But uh, Maokai is still decent overall in solo queue since he scales really well. He's good on catching people out, and he's just a good team fighter overall. And if you start a camp on Maokai, then you can always have a decent laning phase. So I recommend him in solo queue. So starting a camp. In a solo queue game as Malkai, you want to either start off with Wraith or Wolves. And you want to do Wraith or Wolves because Gromp, I think the junglers tends to take Gromp, and then the bot lane tends to take minis. So Wraiths and Wolves is like the easiest to get and the easiest to kill. And you, when you're setting up to do a camp, you want to be at the camp at 1 minute and 20 seconds to stack up your saplings. So that by the time it hits 155, you have like 3 saplings on it, and then it makes it a lot easier for you to kill. Malkai in laning phase, if you're getting some melee champ, you want to look to save your Q to last hit with it and harass the enemy laner at the same time. And you want to look to push the wave to your turret if you think you're safe enough to do so. Or make it so that the wave pushes towards you so that your jungler can gank your lane. So pretty much you just want to use your Q to harass the enemy laner. Then uh, if it's pushing towards you, you let it freeze so that you can let your jungler gank since it's easy to gank for a Malkai. So Maokai for team fighting, you want to either look for split pushing when the other top laner doesn't have TP and then uh, waiting for your teammates to take control, having wards down so that when you TP in you can come from flank and then uh, being able to go on the back line depending on what team comp you have and what the other enemy team comp is. The other way for to play as Maokai is peeling for your team which pretty much means if you have like high damage back line on your team then you want to just stun the front line of the enemy other enemy team and just kill the front line. So you just stay in front of your team, go on whoever's uh, on the front line and just look to kill those. Now Kai in a team fight, you want to make sure you're always autoing in the team fight so that you can proc your passive. So after every skill that you use like W, E, or Q, make sure you're auto attacking in between so that you're killing up a lot. Because in a team fight, everyone's basically proc procking their spells or using spells, so your passive is up most of the time. Runes for Malka, I use N Pen Reds, Armor Pro Level Yellows, Flat CDR Blues, and AP Quins. If I'm against like a Rumble Top or another Mage Caster Top, I run MR Runes. Masteries for Malka, I go 9210. I start off with E Level 1, Q Level 2, Q Level 3, then I grab W at Level 4, then I max Q first, W second, all 2 whenever I can, and E last. And I max Q first because low mana costs and then the damage and wave clear w second for percent damage lower cooldown and then uh, the rest is yeah item build for melka i start off with thorns ring two pots then i look to buy catalyst on first buy glacial shard or specter cow depending on who i'm against then ninjas have your merc threats if they have a uh, cc or too much ad after i get glacial, glacial shard and specter cow i like to get righteous glory finished then finishing Frozen Heart, Spear Visage, and then Thormel. And last item is Rand Evans, probably. Boots for Melka, I go Merc Trust if they have a lot of CC and a lot of magic damage. Then I go Ninja Tabus if they're really having 80 damage. Thanks for watching this guide, and make sure to check out my other guides on lawclass.com.